hello everyone uh, this is going to be a small video which you could use to better your experience uh, while using market profile uh, volume profile uh, on gocharting.com uh, let's start with a very basic chart this is a candlestick chart a 30 minute candlestick chart which you can see uh, with the half packs uh, in the white horizontal lines that you see here uh, that can be set by going to the layers tab and just by choosing the color whatever is more convenient to you so for example if i change the color to blue and sorry this is the candle color so this is the half pack color okay so if i choose it to gray it becomes gray and whichever color is more suited to you you can choose this so this is this is just a basic candlestick chart so uh, let's add a market profile chart now uh, how to set up a market profile chart i've already shared uh, I, I would uh, share the link with you after this video or right on top so that you find it convenient to set a market profile chart right from the beginning. I'm not going to go through every detail while setting up a market profile chart. If you wish, you can start from that video. Nevertheless, in this video, we're going to share some small uh, tips that you could use to uh, personalize, uh, we can say, your charts uh, in market profile. So let's start with the market profile. You just have to go to the indicators tab. Let's switch this off. Go to the indicators tab, talk, type market profile tick. Now the difference between tick and uh, the normal prof market profile chart is that uh, it's nothing but the data feed that you're using. A tick by tick chart is, is obviously more accurate. And uh, again, this has been discussed so uh, what you find with a market uh, profile tick chart it, it is that it is more granular and it is more accurate in the end it's what you prefer so after setting this up this chart up you can see something like this pop up okay so uh, a lot of times i have uh, got doubts wherein they say that this is too small or or too i mean uh, the tick size is too small for us to see so you you just while using a tick chart you don't have to go to any other setting just go to the the settings tabs over here go to the order flow and you can change uh, the lot size if you want even if you do not format the volume you can if this basically this particular part is more for the uh, order flow or cluster charts or imbalance chart so we'll just switch this off these two off for the moment we go to the tick manager right here the block size okay so you can go ahead and keep changing this to whatever you find convenient now one tick in indian markets is five paisa so you can accordingly adjust so for example i had set it to 200 which i find it convenient the other smart way to do it is which i uh, have shared is just go here and you see the average two range so it is 200 okay and uh, i just go here and set whatever is there okay this is another smart way to do it and just look at this maybe lower this to the more lowest possible and uh, set it up or just if you're not comfortable having it there just go there and take it out but this is one more very smart way of doing it okay same chart same average to range just put it there and then you can there is no need to change it or i mean keep testing and trying every day okay so uh this is the basic chart that we have here okay this is the market profile chart with the 200 uh, with 200 being set as the tick size okay now uh, let's quickly go ahead and see what all we can do okay uh, the tp account again all this has been explained in my previous video what i would like to show here is uh, when these are again the th things that I've already discussed in the video so if I add a volume profile chart here okay this is what you generally look at okay this is the most common feature and uh, which everybody generally uses so one thing you have to notice or uh, realize before while setting up this chart is when you have it in split mode you'll not be able to see the width so i've set it at 70 so how is this important this is the ratio of the market profile to volume profile you have in the default mode 
okay so you don't have to select a volume profile chart in within market profile you do have the volume profile inbuilt so what do i mean by the maximum width ratio that is if i set it to 50 you see what happens the volume profile widens and the market profile becomes narrow okay so this is 50 50 you make it 20 your volume profile becomes a little more wide okay you make it 80 it becomes like this now yes this is good what i generally like to do is let's keep it at 70 and i'm going to show you something okay and let's just turn this off okay so everything goes off let us add an indicator let's volume profile tick okay now let's go to the tab layers bar go here okay show session okay now i have all this set up already you can go ahead and do it yourself so what what it does is you can have a look see now i'm not using the space uh, that was in here okay and i am using the same space so that i can see everything together without wasting that uh, space here so what that allows me to do is is this you see i can set it up to 100 percent and still see the volume profile similarly here i can increase the width to whatever i want 90 100 and you can see both the things overlaying each other very very nicely now how does this help not only does this give me this now i go to the show main okay this again is possible on uh, market profile as well and i prefer doing this so you see this is just delta you can do whatever you want bid ask total volume and delta and you can have it set up on the left extreme left of your screen or extreme right okay so whatever you wish you can do so uh, that you have everything visible now let's shift make it to the right and switch it off and let's do one more thing and put it back in split mode okay so there you have a nice looking market profile chart with the delta on the right you want uh, the labels to be there there's an option to do that as well you go here okay and you switch on the label volume this part now this will come only if you expand out that people do, do have doubts so like this okay so you'll have to expand a little bit to see these volumes this part uh, again it's in it's in uh, to each his own but what i uh, would like to see is pictorial representation i can see it's just relative so i don't need to know the numbers exactly but to know where there was aggressive buying and aggressive selling so this part see is is a place where there was aggressive buying maybe when it broke and so on so at the time you can see this very conveniently and it becomes it's, it's a great uh, tool which comes in handy now the last thing after all this is there is something you can get more okay now people keep asking uh, the open and the close yes I agree it is not there yet but you can use a small tool like this to see the open and close of, of each bar okay so again the candlestick is very much configurable you can go to the layers bar candlestick and you can have it extremely dim so that you don't and the, only the borders visible so you can see it like this whatever you wish okay so you can do you can change the colors it's all so configurable okay so you can have it like this now uh, the thing to note is this will be visible only if the letters are visible so if you do it like this you will lose so that uh, again when you're getting granular it's, it's of importance when you aren't you can have it like this the other way to have a half pack at every uh, I mean every period that is a b c d e f without seeing the candles is very simple you just switch off everything okay and just the half pack on you can what i mean to say is just have them like this okay and you will just have the half pack on for every time period okay that is do you see this is the half pack so let's have the wick also out okay and let's change the color of the half pack so that you can 
easily see what I'm trying to tell you. See, you can see. So that's another way to get the half packs for each time period what people generally want. Now, uh, one more feature that has just been uh, added a little time back is with the cluster chart. The beauty of using this platform is you don't have to shift charts or make too many templates. You can do everything within one chart template. So what do I mean by that? Okay, we have candlesticks selected. I just have to go and select my cluster chart. Okay, go here, switch off the market profile. Okay, switch off the volume profile or better yet, just go here and switch off the session. Okay, now let's expand this. This is the same chart. I've just done nothing. And this is the feature I was talking about, wherein the POCs are extended to the right. That is the virgin POCs. This is using a cluster chart or an order flow chart. Okay, you keep expanding it, you will get what you what people like. This okay. Again, this is very configurable. You can go and have a look at my previous video where you can find how to configure this. This is, I think, the total volume that is being shown in. But again, this is just for letting you know that something like this does exist okay another feature that is there which you seldom find is let's go to the cluster chart I'm very sorry for this go here and you can have the virgin poc extending now if if i want all pocs to be extended i just go here okay uh, sorry this is cheap poc time if I want all POCs to be extended, I just have to switch this off. And you see, the red ones are the ones that have already been visited, and the yellow ones are the ones that are not that have not been visited. Now, another smart way of doing it is this is this becomes too much clutter, okay? So you can just go ahead and keep increasing the volume till the time you're satisfied, okay? So uh, for a 30-minute chart, you see, okay, if the volume was only about this, I want to see the POC. So so. You can keep doing this and keep configuring another way to do it is go over here like i just discussed have the format volume this part set into lot size whatever you feel maybe ten thousand, and then you can see then you don't see clutter in here what i mean by that is this okay so you see small numbers okay whatever this is much more convenient to see rather than seeing this you see so or this or this see even this is good so you don't want to waste spaces on your chart you want to best utilize them and have it convenient and still give you the information you need so this isn't a bad chart either yes so this is I want what I meant to say so uh, with that I am done and these were small tips and tricks that you could use to better experience uh, the charts on gocharting.com uh, until next time see you guys